Uh, welcome back. Uh, this review is going to be for the Exagius Brass Catcher. Uh, I'll have a link below. Even though YouTube really doesn't like that, I really don't care anymore. Um, comes with uh, this little piece. Goes in your pick rail. I'll show you on the whole install. It's going to be going on this rifle. That uh, is 223. Uh, your actual brass catcher has a zipper on the bottom. You can let your brass out. Uh, you just push this little little button, takes it off, and not Allen keys, actual torques. So you're going to get a lot less chance of stripping them out. Thank you. All right, so let's uh, do the tabletop, and I'll show you how to put it all on, and then we'll do some uh, range footage. All right, so here's the brass catcher. As I was saying, you can push this little button. This uh, this is the part that goes on your Picatinny rail. Uh, they're all Torx screws, so less likelihood of stripping them out. So you can take this thing off. It's uh, Velcroed on the inside. So if you need to uh, do any sort of maintenance or if you want to tighten this down, which I'll show it to you in a minute. two screws up here you want to keep this on a specific rifle you can make this uh, not slide by just tightening those up it's a nice uh, it's like a powder coated finish it's not paint it seems like it'd be a lot more uh, abrasion resistant less likely you had less likelihood to have a certain wear and like on the corners and so forth here's the bag It's like a ballistic nylon, pretty thick. It's got a like a coating on it, it's almost like a plastic feel on the outside. Uh, this bag's pretty. I'd say it's it's average on the on the uh, the thickness of the netting. I'm not sure if a lot of really hot rounds that you know any given time. Say if you run this full auto, if you would uh, would melt it. Simple little zipper pouch, so you don't have to take it off. Even though it's it's not really that hard to get off, but all right. So let's put this uh on the rifle. I have to put the bag back on. Uh, let's just see how long it takes to put this thing together. This uh this will take the largest star head wrench. You want to remember the star head needs to go towards the ejection port. Let me get farther, farthest up as I can. I don't think you really need to get this too snug. And just uh, squeeze it, put it on. Too close. Yeah, might as well get right up against it. That'll work. So that's what it looks like. That full function of my adjustment on my zoom. Door opens just fine. And actually close the door. There's that zipper. Uh, doesn't get in the way of the mag, mag release at all. And that, uh, that right there is farthest forward as I can move it. Uh, the base on this scope is uh, pretty big, so as you can see. That's 5.56. Five,